Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Norseman.live. You're watching this tape delayed due to an internet issue. I'm here with my uh, partner in crime, Thomas Ness. Tom, welcome. It's good to be back. I love this gym. Oh. It's a good feel to it. Do you remember back when we used to play? It was like yellow. It was that Indian Creek had the yellow. Pure yellow. You, you, you walked out and you went to your car and you couldn't see because of the snow and the yellowness. It, it, uh, me wearing contacts, it took me about at least a quarter, quarter and a half to adjust. That's how bad it was. Yeah. So we've got five minutes remaining before the game. Uh, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, let's talk about our rock solid player of the game last game when we played Leland Earlville, and that's Steve McGrath. Steve oh, he had a great game. 15 points, 53.8% from the field, five steals, five assists. Just played really well. He went to the hole at will. It was his kind of game. He had, He's sneaky quick. Like I say, I still believe he's the most underrated guard in Class 1A, and he shows it because people look at him like, really, this guy? What's he, about 140 pounds soaking wet? But the guy gets into a lot of spots. He, he anticipates so well, and before you know it, he's to the rim. Yeah, Tom, let's talk about a player that's extremely shining right now. Uh, unbelievable work that this kid has put in. Cameron Meyer, the senior lefty sharpshooter. He had 25 points. He was 9 of 10 from the field. Four steals, four block shots, three rebounds, and even dished two dimes. You, you know, with the Cameron, you know, you could see it last year. The talent was there, but the confidence in do I really wish yeah, the timid? I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect this much improvement from him, but that just goes to show the work that he's put in, his parents have put in with him, and he, he's a force. If he brings the intensity that he has the, la the last several games, I'll be honest with you, he's one of the better players in Class 1A, and he's one of the better players in this area, Yeah, he in is, any class. He is unbelievable in what he has done so far. If he had eight games under under his belt already, we only have uh, five games. We're five and zero, oh, uh, or are we six and zero? Oh? We're we're six. Is, was, is it is it six? Or am I off? <laughs> you won four at the tournament, and it, no, we're five, five and zero. Five and zero, oh, and then Leland Earlville, and, and now tonight, if he had eight games under his belt, he would be leading the nation in three point shooting by almost twenty points of field goals. Now, 20 percentage points. I don't want to put this kid in this category, but I'm going to tell you something. His daddy played with one of the best shooters out of this whole area that has ever come out of David Olson. But Cam has this shot. I'll be honest with you. You don't, you don't mind him pulling up a three if he even had a fast break layup. At any point, we'll take, we'll take him shooting a three. Definitely. And the, and the greatest thing about Cam is with Jack and Will – leaving our two big guys underneath now Cameron is multi-dimensional not only sitting at that three-point line but he's driving in oh he's, he, last game he had a beautiful reverse he's dunking the ball he, he has become a threat from all different points within the court it, it, it wasn't a question of well does he have the talent the talent's been there it's hey I got to go do this do you want to be, as they call them in, in baseball, a five-tool a five -tool player? Well, you've got to show all the tools and go do it. He's starting to do that, and that's great because that's taken – and everyone's like, well, Will Clausel, he sh he's only shot 33 shots. Though. He doesn't have to. That's what you're taking this off because you're going to need your all-stay later, but people are going to have to guard camp, yeah. and that's fine because I'll tell you what, anyone that plays man-to-man, -man, which I believe Plano will to do tonight, they're going to get exposed one-on-one. -on -one. There definitely will. But we'll take a 30-second timeout, and then we will be back. back Tom and uh, tell us about the top 10 came out in the in 
Yeah, the eight people came out for one and two A. And uh, what what surprised you about that? Where's Newark ranked? We're eighth. Uh, Which one, is obviously very respectful. That's okay. I mean, top ten. That's okay. But there's a couple teams in there. You got Freeport Aquin that's third, and they've lost already. Almost, I think two or three games. They only played four or five. Well, so, that. I mean, then I see another one, Liberty, who was very good last year, made it downstate, but they lost all five kids, all five kids, and they're 0-5 this year, and they're rated right in the top ten. That doesn't even make sense to me. I, I remember when, the, you know, the Associated Press stuff, it's, I think it's more political than people think it is. I don't do that. I like to see the other forums, a lot, all these people that go out and see the basketball games, they know who's good and who's not. Well, on that note, we're going to go to the National Anthem and we'll go to the auditorium camera. Mike. Well, it looks like we're going with some partial lights off. You know, Tom, I was talking to our friend Bill Ladinsky, and uh, he's heard some great stuff about Plano. They were on that cube, actually. They just beat Yorkville the other day. They beat Reed Custer, I think. They uh, beat Reed Custer, yep, pretty, pretty handily. Uh, I've heard that uh, internally they're feeling pretty good about their team, feeling like they're, it's... Uh, one of the best teams they've had since uh, since Brad Corn. Well, I definitely they're athletic, and I think they're going to press you, which is fine. I don't mind that. You know, this is going to be a huge game for the Plano Christmas yeah, for classic seating, seating. Seating meeting happens on the 15th. So that will be before the Anawan game for us. It's a good measuring stick to see. Where, even though Plano's 3A, it's a good measuring stick where if, you're, if, if we're legit. Yeah, no question. We had that with, with uh, Ileana, and now we'll have that here. Norseman going with their standard starters. As you see. Heard the announcements being made. Dylan, Willie, Stevie, Bo Brown, the sophomore, and then Cameron, our 6'7 sharpshooter. I see in the front, front row that we have some of our alumni. 
see Evan and Jack. Yeah, Jack keeps coming back, man. Yeah, you know, he's only he's playing over in Naperville, so he doesn't have far of a ride. Referees pick up a little garbage on the side, and we're ready to go. <laughs> 32 minutes of basketball left. Gamer wins the jump. Let's see what they come out at man-to-man. -man. Yep. Man -man. I think this favors us, to be honest with you. See if Dylan gets started right away. Uh, there you go. That's rebound. okay. Ah, you got a call for traveling. That's okay. Man, I like how Dylan's taking it to the hole. He's got to. 7.46 remaining. Hopefully you guys caught this on WSPY. Watching the archive now. Norseman start off in a 3-2. Dylan, Dylan, look at that. With a deflection bow with a bow the steel. on the ground. I love that. Get on the ground. Stevie, come on with that floater, kid. You knew that was coming. Bo had it, but couldn't get it. That's okay. At least we're attacking the rim, Phil. That's what I want to see. Yeah. We're attacking the rim. Long three. Nope. No good. Nope. Stevie with the rebound. You got a little push up, but that's okay. Up to Dylan there. Dylan goes in strong Ooh, he and needed gets that it. One. That's a good start off by Dylan. He needs that confidence booster. Willie's leading the state in assists. Stevie's number two in the state in assists, according to Max Preps. Ooh, look at that little slider. He can't He's do that. He can't He's step in that, can he? Nope. He can't step in. Newark ball. You have to be set. That's good. Now they're going to press us a little bit. I, like I say, I still think this favors us. Uh, looks like man-to-man -man press. Just token almost. We'll let Dylan bring it up. Willie just clears out. Here's dad chiming in. <laughs> Bo Brown yet to shoot a three. Look at Cam open your head. Cameron buddy. there, wide open from downtown. Ah. Off the iron. That's a great shot, though, when he gets I'll his live own with rebound. That. You live with that shot. Any day, Always. what's he shooting? 48, 50%? He, he's shooting 62% from the three-point land. And I thought Willie got hit on the arm, but they're going to do that the old no call. And that's not a walk. Two to two early on here. This crew's been around for a long time. They're a good crew. They're going to let you play. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of the... Uh, That's a push off by Willie. Might not <laughs> have been. Willie was frustrated with it. Cameron has it, looking around, nothing. Dylan, near push off, too. Willie thought about a three, thought about a three. Take it in, guys. Take it in, Willie. Take that ball in. Nice drive. Gives Look. it off to Stevie. Stevie gets there hacked That's on two. the arm. That's, That's a beautiful a play. That's good. Draw another foul, uh, or that's Plano's first. I forgot they didn't call that last one. I don't know if you're going to get a lot of fouls there. I think they're going to let you play. Which, obviously, you prefer. I do. Keep the game going for eight hours if otherwise. That's the one knock that I always have against uh, our conference. We, they always play it tight. Go to church with Dave uh, over there across the way. Dave, Chris. He goes to Sugar Grove campus. I'm pastor at the Indian Creek campus in Shabana. Three to two in favor of the Norsemen here early on. 5.40 remaining in the game. Oh, our friend Red Corn, he's at home sick. Has he got the flu? Yeah, he's got something. He went to the doctor today and barely could get up. However, oh. he, was asking about, he was asking about the broadcast, and he kept trying to get on, and it was going in and out, in and out, and I said, you know what? I, it means more to me to have the integrity of the video than to broadcast it. Stevie ah, by Steve. himself, great drive. He usually gets that floater, man, to go. I just didn't. That's a charge. That's out of control. Yep. And they Bo got Brown him. doing the dirty work. Great job by Bo Brown taking the charge. That kid gets dirty. I love it, man. He's always on the ground. He's taking the charges. He's getting the rebounds. You need kids like that. Two fouls and none in favor of Plano. You might say in favor of Newark, but. You know, I think uh, what they're, they're just they making us work. Here. Look at that yeah. move. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's quick. He's got a quick first step. See, people don't give that credit to Willie. He doesn't look that quick. But he's got a good first step, man. And when Long he goes, three. he's gone. Oh. oh, he had the diagonal, too. That's a walk. 22 walked. 
Man, did you see that diagonal open up, though? He had it, just couldn't get it through. 440 remaining, 5-4, to four, Norseman lead. Norseman showing man-to-man -man here. Long three for the 6 7 -er. Not sure that's on the scouting report. I don't think that is. I think that was one of those, I'm just going to go up and shoot it. Willie has it, gives it to Bo. Great hands by Bo to control that. Yeah, that looked like it was going out. Dylan gets it to Willie. What a way to use that glass. Scott, here's that thing again. Look and there's camps. a black shot by Cameron. But that's us not getting back. I did, that's, oh, that was a little bugaboo. We can't get back, especially on that right side. Watch him pop out, Cam. Rebound, rebound. There you go, Steve. Oh, you see that? He dribbled between his legs, yeah. between the other guy's legs. Dylan thought about it wisely, didn't, and then throws it away. He tipped off. New 22 ball. got it. 22 got it. I didn't see that, Phil. I, I thought didn't that see was it off either. us. That, we got a break there, I think, because Dylan walked away, too. Plano coach doesn't like it. I wouldn't like it either. <laughs> kind of, you kind of can just throw it up there when you have a six-seven wing player like that. That's nice, isn't it? Good post up by our point guard. No nope. shot. No. Nope. Dylan was in there, just didn't get, and he got the steal. Great job by Dylan sticking around. Cameron from way downtown. Wow. Get back, guys. Get back. Willie comes up with the steal, gives it Take over it to Stevie. In, Stevie. Stevie drives, and he's going to float it. And That's a block, block and one. The bucket. That's, That's a good call. Not a good, not a good play by him. That's a good call. These guys, like I said, these refs, I mean, they, they, they've been around the game, man. They, they do a lot of those in the suburbs. And you see, this is, this is going to be a good game, guys. It's going to be up and down. Nine to seven in favor of the Norseman. Three twenty-four remaining, and we could make it a three-point game here. And he does. There you go, Stevie. He's got that good slider, that step over, that Dwayne. I mean, Stevie's sneaky like that. Yeah, Coach Allison's gonna take thirty seconds. We're gonna take thirty seconds. We'll be back. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? Hi, this is Michelle King from Heartland Bank asking you to show your pride by ordering a custom debit card featuring your school. And when you order your Spirit debit card, Heartland Bank will donate $5 directly to your school. What a great way to join others in showing your spirit and pride and help to raise money for our local schools. Order your Spirit debit card online at hbtbank.com or stop in at Heartland Bank near you today. Spirit debit cards are an optional design with a $10 purchase charge. Standard debit card available at no charge. Member FDIC. All right, welcome back to Plano High School. Phil Chapman here with partner in crime, Tom Ness. 318 remaining, Norseman up 10 to seven. It's been a pretty good game so far. Newark hasn't shot super well, but it played a lot of good basketball. Deflection by Cameron, great trapping trap, defense. That's a great trap. Long skip Ooh. pass needed. Ooh, Willie got just that missed one, it. He? That's you're walking, man. They don't. They don't. They're not going to call that tonight. It almost they? looked like his foot stood still, though. Norseman. I mean, it sure seems like there's nine <laughs> Norsemen out there, and he just went up too early. That he did. He got Dylan here. Stevie with the left. Man, that's could, a hard angle. The ball. That's a hard angle to come off. Stevie did right there. Nice pass by Plano, and they got it to go. 10 to 9 in favor of the Norseman, 225 remaining. I heard Willie's mom calling for a foul that time. <laughs> Stevie with a nice drag. Count the bucket. And one. Another and one situation for Man, Stevie McGrath. Stevie coming a little live now. This is two games in a row. He already has six. Plano's coach doesn't like that, but hey, he grabbed before, man. Grabbed my arm. You can't do that. Into the game, the 
Yeah, he's not happy about that. No, he's not. Stevie's mom's happy about it, and she's calling for the <laughs> sink it. See if we can make it a three-point play, uh. and it's short. Nice hustle by Bo to get back. Stay on there. Stay on that ground. Long three from the corner. Cam, get up there. Because, there you go. That could have been a could foul, Could have been a foul, too. definitely. Cameron, nice rebound. Way to stay with it, Cam. 157 remaining. Norseman up three, 12 to 9. I like this. You're going to work out a play here. Let's get a little something going here. Man to man. Coach Tolleson calling out a play. Clear out for Stevie by himself. Ooh. They tipped it. Nice defense. Norseman still don't that's have a That's another foul. stutter step. Oh, nice. They found him underneath, and that's just a good find. Yep. 130 remaining. One-point game. Norseman lead 12 to 11. That's a foul. Is that not a push? Sophomore gets it. Wow. Can't get it back up. They, man, he just shoved him right out of the way. Cameron with a swat. Cameron with another block. Jump ball, it's gonna be Reaper ball, I believe. Well, I'll tell you what, they missed one down here because I'm telling you what, they grabbed Willie and pushed him right in the back and pushed him out of bounds. Yeah, they, there are three refs to watch it. And we had a perfect angle at it, we could see it. They just must have not had the right angle. Lob and out the top and three point attempt. I knew that was coming and that's good. He, he was too relaxed. They gave him too much space. 14 to 12, Norseman down two. Clear out for Dylan. Iso. Nice pass into Bo. Bo gets it swatted out. Nothing hurt. Willie has it. Gives it to Stevie. Stevie, stutter step, floats it. No good. Bo gets it, and he's fouled, and they're going to just keep shooting free throws. That's fundamental basketball. Keep going at it. Who cares? You don't have to be flashy. That's the one thing that you can't get caught up into. If you're not the flashy type of guy, don't try to be that. Be the workhorse. It'll pay off. 14 to 12, Norseman down. Bo's first shot is up and nothing but net. You know, and this is what I heard. Uh, Plano's going to play with a lot of emotion, especially early. You just got to get them out of that emotional game and... Keep grinding. Newark will do that. Bo hits them both. She's all tied up. 38 seconds remaining. What I don't like, I like we're not in foul trouble. Yeah, we haven't had a foul. It's oh. five to nothing. Oh, oh, you got him here. You got him. You got him. Steal on Stevie. Watch it, Stevie. Gives it off to Willie. 25 seconds remaining. You hold for one here, Phil? You hold yeah, for one? Yeah, hold for one here. It's tie game. 20 look, seconds look, remaining. Now, look who's on Willie. Iso him and get him out of the I'd way. I'd like to see Cameron with a three-point attempt here. As they go to Willie, driving in. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four. Dylan has it, drives, floats it, and they called travel somehow. What in the world? Uh, I guess I didn't see that. That's a turnover, two seconds remaining. Long three. Look. And there you have it. That's the end of the first quarter. 14 to 14. We'll be back after these messages. Mike Rowe here at the Parker residence where the upstairs toilet is not good. Luckily, the Parkers called Benjamin Franklin Plumbing and now their plumber Tony is literally bending over backwards to get things moving again. You should see him, it's incredible. Tony brought all the tools and parts he needs to do the job from start to finish, which by the sound of it is right now. When you gotta go, go with the pros at Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. And by go, I don't mean go, you know what I mean. Call 877-BEN-1776. Each independent franchise is licensed in its respective state or county.